Hey, good afternoon, Kathy. This is Wayne with Blue Digital Solutions here in Jacksonville. Uh, you spoke with one of my associates last Thursday, I believe it was, and he let you know that we would be sending over a short video uh, geared towards your business to uh, see if we could pass along a few tips that would help you get your website uh, calls coming in a little heavier, uh, get you ranking a little bit closer to page one, and obviously bring in more customers. Uh, the reason we're doing it is we are a local business just like you, and shopping local, especially during this pandemic, is paramount, I think, to all of us surviving. Uh, and then ongoing after this is finished, obviously, we want to be positioned to grow our businesses and continue taking care of our families. So that's why we're offering some free tips to local businesses. The second reason, obviously, is we are a search engine optimization company and a website company uh, this is what we do and if you're like most business owners uh, the tips I'm going to give you you can implement on your own but if you're too busy uh, running your business and you would like some help then we'd hope that you would give us a call and let us uh, talk to you and have a little discovery call and see how we may be able to assist so that's the reason we're doing this is to help you do it by yourself but if you do need some help we'd like you to give us a call now having said that I'm going to keep this real short and sweet. Basically, what I wanted to do is I want to look at your website and see what can you do that's easy and quick that would get your website moved closer to page one. Uh, currently, let me well. Currently, when we go in, somebody goes in to find a fence contractor. Fence Jacksonville, Florida, is the most searched after keyword in the area. So, if somebody were to type that in. they would see your ad right here American fence and railing and then you've got your Google my business section which I'll talk about in a minute and then down here we have what's called the organic part of page one this is where your local companies and your advertisers obviously are Angie's list superior best fence there's 10 on each page so on page one I did choose the number one person number one company here in Jacksonville which is Duval fence to see what they're doing that maybe you should be doing to get up and get ranked on this page one now don't get me wrong doing the ads is great ads work very well the the difficulty with ads is google is always changing their algorithms for one so you always got to be outbidding and paying more money each time you turn around it seems like and then once you stop running ads then you have no more presence on the web for the most part so that's why we ads for us are always the last thing we do we want to get you ranked organically and ranked into this Google my business section because once you're there then you're there nobody can take that away from you and you're gonna get calls and customers ongoing so let's take a look at some of the metrics what we're going to talk about so on your site there's three tips I'm going to leave with you today <clears throat> content backlinks and citations so content, first of all, we're looking at content, and content is nothing more than what it sounds like. Right here is content on your home page. There's some nice pictures. You've got some more content here. That's good. The reason content is so important is because Google, the bots that crawl around looking at everybody's website, trying to determine who should be on page one and who should not, they do that by who's the authority. So if you're doing fencing, how does anybody know that you're the authority unless what Google sees is they want to see between a thousand and fifteen hundred words on your home page talking about what makes you the authority in the fence arena so a thousand to fifteen hundred words is the sweet spot you've got you know you've got a good bit you've probably got five hundred to seven hundred words here but just imagine you crank this up and get a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content and not only that but you interweave some of the keywords into that content and now you've got a very powerful site that's going to outrank a lot of your competitors just because most people get lazy and they don't put a lot of content on their home page let's take a look at that competitor that is on page one which is Duval Fence see what they've got for content see they don't have much either but they're on page one for other reasons which I'll mention in a moment so content is one way that you could outdo the competition content add some keywords 
So that's the first tip I'm going to leave with you. Now let's go look at some metrics behind your website. This is your company right here. And I'm, we're not going to go through all of this because it can be confusing. But I do want to go through a few things. <clears throat> Excuse me. This DR is a domain rating. It's a 0 to 100 score that Google assigns. Higher the number, the more powerful your website. So you're at a 12. Backlinks, referring domains. These are nothing more than your website link being embedded in other websites that refer back to you. All referring backlinks and domains are not the same. Uh, you need to be on the right website so that they can provide power to your site. You know, if you put your backlink on a Pizza Hut website, obviously that's not going to do you much good since it's not a like kind business. So all backlinks are not the same. They're not created equal. They're kind of like votes. You get your backlink on some really good websites and you're going to get a whole lot of power coming from that. And this number is going to really shoot up. And when that number shoots up, so do your rankings within Google getting you towards page one. The other thing we're going to talk about is the organic keywords. And I'll come back to that real quick. So you've got a 12 DR, about 100 or so backlinks, and your organic keywords. Let's take a look what your competitor on page one has. As you can see, their DR is a little higher. They're at a 29. There's their backlinks, and then there's their keywords. So not a whole lot of difference, a little bit here and there. But there again, like I said, they're not all created equal. Where their backlinks are at, they leave clues. So if, if their backlinks are creating more power for their site, we can go into that and see where their backlinks are at and then put yours in the same spot and then add more to it on top of that. So that's one way to get some more power to your website is by getting the backlinks into the right websites. Now the organic keywords that we're talking about shows that you've got a 174 that you are ranking for. Fence companies that finance, looks like there's 150 people every month looking and you're on page one. Financing, financing, privacy fence, financing. It looks like you've got a lot of keywords geared towards the financing side of the fencing installation business, which is great. I mean, it looks like you're capturing that part of the market. There's 30 people looking for that term. Fencing companies that finance. Vinyl Jacksonville, there's 80 people looking for that. You're still on page two. Vinyl Fencing Jacksonville, page two as well, 40 people looking for that. So let's take a look at what you could do to get keywords that are going to rank quicker in your content. Let's go back to your competitor real quick. Let's take a look here at keywords, organic keywords they're using. See this here, Jacksonville Fence. There's 200 people every month looking for that term. Uh... Fencing Jacksonville, Florida. See, these keywords are generating a lot of traffic. There's 200 people looking for this. Um, they happen to be in the number two position. Privacy Fencing Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville Fence Company. These keywords here, obviously not the Duval Fence because that's their name, but those keywords there need to be interwoven into your content throughout here. If you inter interweave those keywords into that 1,000 or 1,500 words of content, it's going to shoot the power way up. Currently, if we go back to looking and we Google this, Jack this fence Jacksonville, Florida, your company shows up on page four. We need to get you up on page one because 70% of the people are going to choose a company from this section, and then the other 40%, 30 or 40%, are going to choose it from the organic section on page one. Very rarely does anybody go past page one to find what they're looking for uh, me included so the key is to get that content up get those proper keywords that people are looking for in that content and it's going to boost your ratings way up there the third thing I want to talk about are citations citations are one of the big keys that get you into this area here this is the Google my business area here citations are nothing more than inserting your company name address and phone number into a directory Currently, there are about 350 different directories that you can get into. You'll find that most people that are in this section are only using 30 to 40 citations and directories. What if you did all 300? What if you did all 350? Bang, you're going to be moving into here really fast. Once you're in here, 
like I said, 60 to 70 percent of the people, this is where they choose their contractor. The other remaining amount, choose it from page one. So get your content right, get your backlinks on the right websites, get your keywords embedded into your content, make sure it's the right keywords, and now you're going to be sitting organically on page one and right here, all for free. You won't have to be paying for these ads that keep changing in price. And, and by the way, I don't know if you're aware of it. I'm sure you probably are. But your competitors be, can be clicking on this, costing you money at the same time. So be cautious of that. So back to your website right here, the three things we talked about. Content, backlinks, keywords, and then citations. The citations is your name, address, and phone number put into the directory. Just be sure when you do that that if you've got a comma or a period, make sure your submission to that directory is identical to what you have as your company name and address. Otherwise, it won't see it, it won't correlate it, and it will be a waste. So I hope this was informative of some help. And like I said, if there's anything that I can do or questions I can answer, please feel free to give me a call. My name is Wayne. My number is 904-553-5521. 904 Five five three, five five two one. Hope you have a great day.